You're late, Alex. You're too late. I told you it's Carol. Carol? I thought you were late. Why, I thought you thought I was early. I think you thought I might have a thinking place for us to go think thoughts at. You didn't think I could think a thought that you thought I could think. Oh, I f***ing hate the Flash. They're so predictable, you know what's gonna happen all of the time. Nothing's a surprise. I hate the Flash. I wish the Flash never existed. The CW makes me sick. They don't make sense. I don't get them. Okay, so before we watch the first episode, I'll just tell you right now that there will be some bad guy with no powers. Barry is gonna deal with him in the most effective way. I knew once I got back last night some things had changed, but before I could figure out exactly how much I had to deal with someone this morning. Gonna get too far on that thing anymore, are you? I will be taking these back to the jewelry store you stole them from, but uh, you can keep these if you'd like. Good luck with that. After he was taken care of, I went. To but when there's a bad guy with a superpower, but still nothing that can beat super speed, Barry is not gonna use his super speed any effective way at all. Instead, the Flash is gonna stop to talk. Called it. The writers always do this. Next, Barry will look away literally for only two seconds, then the bad guy is suddenly gone. Called it. Next, Barry isn't gonna leave the building and try to search the area with his super speed. Instead, the episode is gonna cut to black screen, because dramatic effect is apparently more important than a character who uses his abilities effectively. Called it. Let's take a shot every time this f***ing happens. Next, we're gonna have three more encounterments with this new bad guy. You bought the old this time. Mm hmm but that wasn't very smart, was it? Ugh, this guy sucks. You can see why you wanna bring him down so badly? Do yourself a favor. Give it up. There's nowhere for you to go. You can't trick all of us, Katabra. I think I just see it. So, look around. Our understanding. If you make a move, you'll regret it. Guys, move to the side. Called it. The episode is making it very clear that this metahuman is very hard to catch. So how does Barry stop him? He uses super speed to catch him by surprise. Get what I came for. Everybody okay? Nothing's changed and he had super speed this whole time, so he could have done this from the beginning. But, here's something even more frustrating. When the Flash actually does use his power effectively, he only does it halfway, then just lets the bad guy win out of nowhere. So it's like, you think he's finally getting good and actually being smart and will finish the bad guys now, but nope, you just get disappointed and unfulfilled expectations. So here's another example. Barry runs through this road and knocks down these guys.
but then someone gets hurt. So Barry has to take him to the hospital. Understandable. But then he just spends several hours at the hospital and lets the bad guys get away. Instead of, you know, whacking them and knocking them out. So they'll still be there when the police arrive. Then when Captain Cold is shooting ice rays at people. See how fast you are. Barry could just run towards Cold and tackle him or something, instead of putting in so much unnecessary effort to save every single person. And for those of you saying that the show wouldn't be very entertaining if the Flash uses his super speed effectively in every single first encounterment with a metahuman, just know that the show isn't fun to watch right now either. And let's be completely honest here. The writers really don't have a reason to make each episode 40 minutes long, and give each season over 20 episodes. Make it shorter, and they don't have to make the episode 100% about superhero fighting stuff. Give the side characters a bit of personality to entertain the audience for the most part. You killed my brother. You shouldn't have messed with my family. That's funny. I was going to say the same thing about ours. All the glitters. How many times are we going to go through this, Snark? Until the best man wins. Great now use your super speed and do that exact same thing to Captain Cold. Not like the writers wrote or showed anything that makes it difficult for Barry to do just that. Meet my baby sister. Lisa Flash, Flash, Lisa. Cisco has been very, very busy. Unless you want me to mail small frozen pieces of him back to his family, I'd take your hands off her. Let him go, Snart. I'll think about it. Coco isn't Coco without the mini marshmallows, and you're out. I checked. <sighs> so he broke into Joe's house, and Barry pins him against the wall. He then says, If I release my grip from the handle, the core goes critical. You might make it. She won't. Okay, so you have two options here. Relocate him outside, which would be the most logical thing to do. Or relocate her outside. But of course, this dumb c doesn't do anything and lets go of him. Then Captain Cold lets go of his gun. But he just said if he lets it go, the core goes critical. And yet nothing happens. If you listen closely, when he lets go of the gun, it makes a noise that implies he deactivated that feature. So, if he deactivated the threat, and Barry can clearly see he just let go of the gun, then why doesn't Barry attack him or relocate him? Why are we still here? Just to suffer? CORECT! Yeah, I'm not physically nor mentally prepared for any of this. Hello there, sir. Here's the stuff that you ordered. Thanks. This is the only thing that keeps me going. No problem. But hey, listen. Don't forget to take a break every now and then, okay? These videos that you're making may be important to deliver some constructive criticism to the CW and other big production studios, but just don't force yourself to upload as much as possible, okay? Take a break every now and then too. My tip, please? Here's a tip for you. Go get a haircut that doesn't look like you got it from a gorilla. <laughs> okay, I'm over it. You, you, you guys can do whatever the hell you want. I don't care anymore.
Freeze Madvocate, you are not allowed to give constructive criticism. Oh, this is so predictable. Unhand that video, or you will be getting a copyright strike tonight. You're in my house. <laughs>